Hello there. Uh, I wanted to guide you through how you can use uh, my Extra Life Donation Tracker uh, on OBS in order to um, track your donations um, for um, this is on Linux uh, Windows would be similar but I'll make a different video later for Windows so the first thing you want to do is you go over to my uh, github repo and I'll put the link uh, in the show notes and uh, you click on download here actually the best way to do it is come to the releases so you'll have one that you know works and you can pick a Tarda gzip or you can pick a zip it's up to you whichever one you're more comfortable with i'll do the Tarda gz and you'll see that it downloaded uh. mm -hmm. all right and then went to my download folder okay so we'll come over here and um, let me uh, grab it out of my download folder. And we'll bring it over to my temp folder. All right, so now I'm going to um, unzip this or extract it. Um, you can also do that in the command line if you prefer to do it in the command line. Okay, and here's all the code um, that was on the uh, on the GitHub page, if you uh, go back over here, uh, you can see the same files. All right. So now, what should you do? Well, um, you can open up uh, Extra Life Donations in one of your um, text editors. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to um, open it up with a VI. Uh, oops, I need to get to that folder. Uh, let me see what was the folder name. All right. All right, and now we're going to do VI Extra Life Donations Pi. All right, and so the things you need to change are right here. This needs to be your Extra Life ID. If you go to your Extra Life um, page, it will be all the way at the end of the URL. And then you need to change the folder that you want it to drop all the text files into. And you'll see what those text files are for in a moment. Um, I've put mine in Dropbox because I'm actually playing usually on my Windows computer, but I'm running this on my Linux computer just because Python is so much easier to run on Linux. Uh, if you use something other than dollars, you would change this. And then here, you want none if you're not on a team or your team ID if you're in a team. And again, if you go to the web page for the Extra Life um, team, you should see it there. You shouldn't have to touch anything else in here. So I'm going to exit. All right. So um, there's two ways to run it. Um, let me show you that code again. Um, if you are, if your Python 3 lives in the same place as mine, then you can just do um, dot slash extra life donations pi. Uh, if it lives somewhere else, you can do something like Python 3 extra life donations dot pi. Uh, either way, once you run it, you'll see this output here. And um, the API has a uh, certain amount of times you can hit it uh, before they kick you off. I think it's something like um, 30 seconds. And so you should see there, it'll come up every 30 seconds or so. This is kind of your way of knowing that everything's running and everything's going okay. So now that that's happened, let's come over to OBS. And uh, so excuse the uh, infinite screen here, but uh, basically what you want to do is you want to come here and uh, you want to make a text window. Um, and uh, we'll call this one... Uh, well, we'll call it goal two. So I had a uh, an error while I was trying to do this before. Okay, so you should. Okay, good. You are seeing that. Um, so what you want to do is go here to read from file, and browse, and go to where you saved those files before. So, oops. So for me, that is in Dropbox, Eel Tracker. We'll do goal. So there's your. This is what came in from, uh, from the running script. 
All right. So we'll do, and you can do all kinds of things here, like have a drop shadow if you want it to be, if that helps, or an outline if that makes it easier to read. We'll do the outline. All right, so there we go. There's your $500, uh, which is my goal. Um, so one thing that you might want to do um, now, you would use, um, let's see, horizontal. So the file that you would want to use here is called um, last, five donor, last five donor name amount message horizontal or uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah um, so right now that has nothing because no one's donated uh, but you'd use that one and it would it would you can make it scroll across like some, some people have their donation scrolling so I'm going to show you how to do the scrolling with the goal even though it's going to look kind of silly so you want to right click click on filters and then add the filter of um, scroll and then just do a horizontal scroll. And there you go. So if that had everyone's um, names and donation amounts and their messages, that would show up there and you would see it scrolling across. And so what you would just do is you would go across the, um, the bottom of the screen like the, oops, well, it's not gonna work with this one because it's not a long thing. So it's gonna scale, it's gonna scale uh, upwards as well. But basically it would look like it was coming across the whole thing. So, um, that's what you would do there. That's how you would, you would make use of the text files. Um, let's see what else would actually still have text right now. Uh, maybe the amount of donations I've had. Let's see. From the file. Um, total raised. Zero. I've raised nothing. So here's how much I've raised. I've raised nothing. All right. So if you look here, it's still running. It's uh, it's pinged the API uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And at any of those times, if someone had donated, it would say, what did I tell it to say? Um, somewhere in here, I think I had it print out a message like, hey, we had a donor. Um, but uh, at any, oh, here we go. We got a new donor. And then um, if you had the text on the screen over in OBS, it would automatically update. Um, so there you go. That's how you make use of it. I hope you find this uh, short tutorial useful and uh, that you're able to, uh, to use my donation tracker. Um, if you have any issues, if you discover any bugs, um, just go to, uh, the GitHub page, you have to make an account, of course, and you go here to issues and open a new issue. I also use issues for tracking um, for tracking features. So that's what these two um, GUI uh, issues are. And um, and yeah, I'll try to fix uh, whatever bugs I've got in the code. Um, so thanks a lot and uh, happy extra lifing.